Welcome to the next step of getting your website up and uh, getting your offer made available. The next step that we're on is get your hosting account. We have already registered a domain name. That tells us, you know, uh, an address essentially on the Internet that we're going to have. And now we need to get a hosting account, and that takes care of where we put all of our files. We've got a lot of stuff that needs to be you know, out there that people can come to, our landing page where people get to see the offer, the actual website where Google gets to check out that we are a legitimate business, all this kind of stuff. We need a place to put it, and that's where hosting comes in. That's just a brief you know, overview, kind of an analogy for everybody to understand, just in case you know, I don't want to leave anybody behind. So the first step is that we register the domain. I gave you a list of resources in the last video where you could go to do that. The next thing is to get a hosting account. Then after that, what you're going to do is point the DNS, those are uh, name servers, to your hosting account. And you do that at your registrar, wherever you registered the domain name. Now, it is true that you can go to a hosting company and you can register and host everything right there, you know, all in one. The reason that I don't recommend that you necessarily do that is because where, wherever you register it, if that's if the register and the hosting company are all inclusive, they're all in one, there's no, you know, if, if that company has a problem, if they go down or whatever, um, there's not a whole lot that you can do about it. If you have your registrar off on a different company and, you know, your hosting company is somewhere else, then you're not leaving all that power, you know, just in one company. Plus, there are companies that specialize in domain registration. And for that reason, they can get you something, uh, you know, a little bit less expensive. And what I have found is that a lot of the hosting companies, they actually try to gouge you a little bit on the registration. So anyhow, a little bit. It's not You're not saving like hundreds and hundreds of dollars or anything, but hey, a penny saved is a penny earned, right? And it's a fairly simple process to just go in there, you go to your registrar, point the DNS to whatever the hosting company gives you, and voila, you're all set up. Now, what I'm going to give you right now is the URL to a hosting company that I have found is pretty savvy towards affiliate marketers, mattyblazehosting.com, and for that matter, any kind of Internet marketing, really. Uh, you're going to go there and make sure that you can that you know all about your FTP access. When you go to, like if you go to Matty Blaze Hosting or if you go to any other hosting company, maybe there's something you're already familiar with. Nowadays, just about every hosting company is on cPanel, which is the interface that allows you to configure your account. Now, uh, at Matty Blaze Hosting and several others, once you set up the account, you automatically will have FTP access. Uh, and that usually is, by default, it is the company, uh, it is the uh, the name of the account that you set up. I'm just going to show you real quick. This is Matty Blaze Hosting. And, again, I don't recommend that you register here. I recommend that you check out their hosting. They have, I thought they posted somewhere on here, uh, like, I think it's like $79 a year or something like that for basically unlimited access. But uh, anyhow, just come there, check it out, see whatever current prices you know they got. FTP access stands for FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and that allows you to take your files and upload them onto the server and actually put you know everything there. Another reason that I recommend Matty Blaze Hosting is because the next couple of segments that we're going to have here have to do with creating a landing page and a website. Well, there's a good chance that you're not a graphics designer, right? And you might not want to pay a whole bunch of money to get a website created. Well, at Matty Blaze Hosting, and I know a couple of other hosting companies do this, you get free access to an incredible library of what are called templates, what site templates. You can go there, browse through all the templates. They got categories of them. I mean, oodles of categories. And you can just download those templates and just make some changes, tweak some things, and pop it right back up on your server, and you know, you've know you got an instant website that looks 
very professional. Also, I'm going to recommend that you go to adobe.com and download a free trial of Dreamweaver. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Dreamweaver has a steep learning curve. I could recommend to you some pretty simple, um, you know, just basic HTML editors. And you could use those and you could get by with them. Honestly, you could. But if you're going to be serious about doing this and you're going to do it yourself, then I recommend bite the bullet, learn how to use Dreamweaver. If you're not familiar with any kind of HTML, if you're not familiar with anything, you're going to have to learn anyway, and you might as well learn what the big boys use, and that is Dreamweaver. What you're going to get when you download this is a free 30-day trial. That's going to, that is way more time than what you need in order to you know, get your whole site up. You could do a ton of sites. I could do probably four or five in just that trial period if I really you know, wanted to get that many up that quick. Dreamweaver allows you, one of the things that I love about it, it allows you to see the site, how it's really going to be. So you can get one of those templates I was talking to you about. You can go ahead and open it up in Dreamweaver, and that's what the site's going to look like. So you go in there, you change it, you you know manipulate it, put in your stuff, save it, and Dreamweaver will even upload everything to your server for you once you've got it all configured. If you've got to get into the you know the internals of the page and look at the actual code, you can do that with Dreamweaver. It's real easy. And it's not cheap, I know, but here's what I'm telling you. You download the free trial, you got 30 days. You're going to use it. You're going to be making you know money off of your hopefully that's the whole purpose of all this, right? Is that you're making money. And if you do it right, you'll be making so much money that even buying Dreamweaver is not going to be, it's going to be, you know, dropping a bucket, it's just a, a business investment. So those are your action steps. I'm not actually going to walk you through all of this stuff because really it's, it's, I mean, it's a no brainer. It's very easy. You go to Maddie Blaze Hosting, you've already got your domain registered. Go there, buy a, a hosting account, do the whole yearly one. You know, it's like 75 or $79. And point that, you go to your registrar. Point that to your hosting company. They're going to give you, uh, they give you an IP that you should point to for name servers. You point that to the name servers. They've got your account up. You're going to have FTP access, cPanel access. Uh, download Dreamweaver. Grab some of those templates. You know, look over them and see what looks the best. Grab one of them. Make your changes. Upload it. You've got a website. I'm telling you, you could have this done by tonight. I'm serious, okay? It's not that difficult. I will give you a word of caution, though. When you register your domain, let's say you go out right now and you go to one of those companies, register your domain, and then you go right over to Matty Blaze right away and get an account, uh, get a hosting account. Don't expect your site to be accessible like in the next hour because it's got to propagate through all the name servers until it hits your ISP. Uh, and it could be, you know, 24 to 48 hours it could do, be to take that. But what you should do is go out, register your domain, get the hosting account, make sure everything's working, then go download Dreamweaver. You're going to take that time and build your site anyway. Get the template that you want, something that looks real nice, make the changes to it and customize it, and then you'll be able to upload that to your site. And by that time, you'll probably be set and you'll be live on the Internet. Now, what we're going to do in the next couple of videos is go over those very important details about what actually are you going to put on your website? What, uh, how should you do it? And what elements do you need? That will be coming up next.